Like That'll that. work. Mm -hmm. so, are you ready? Sure. Yep. So today we're showing uh, our new uh, OS 2.0 for Playbook, uh, okay. which will soon be released here. We're very excited about it. We've uh, brought some, some great new features to the Playbook with uh, 2.0. Uh, a lot of it starts here with our with our uh, native email experience on the Playbook. Mm -hmm. So we brought that great uh, BlackBerry smartphone uh, email experience to the Playbook here, and we've added some more uh, great features to it here. So, it just so the original Playbook you had to be connected to a BlackBerry with the bridge to get the email to work, right? Well, now we, it's standalone? Well, we had uh, a few various ways of, of doing email. One of them, which you, which you highlighted there, was through BlackBerry Bridge. So you could, uh, through Bluetooth, bring over your uh, email from your BlackBerry smartphone, or you could access uh, email through, uh, through the browser. But now we have a, a native uh, built-in uh, email experience on the playbook. So the great uh, email experience you become accustomed to on your BlackBerry smartphone, you can now have it right on the playbook. Okay. Uh, brought in some great new features. So here we have uh, a unified in, um, email inbox here. You can see that you can bring in multiple uh, different accounts into one uh, email inbox. In this case, I only happen to have one. Mm -hmm. uh, brought in some great, uh, great features uh, to the email. Uh, the ability to type in your Twitter feeds right into your email as well. LinkedIn updates coming right into the email as well. Uh, and when I highlighted earlier was we brought in some uh, a new calendar and contacts application as well. I'm just loading up the contact application here. And see what we've done here is, is we've uh, taken a very those, powerful contact yeah, here. Brought in those great social media feeds, uh, LinkedIn and Twitter and we brought that into contacts. So now you can see right within the contacts application that uh, information, that news that's coming off of your, uh, your social media feeds. We've also taken that, we've integrated it into the uh, native calendar application as well. So we have a new calendar application here for the breakfast meeting. So is there a month and weekly views of that? I saw Absolutely. So I can go back into here. It's a weekly, mm -hmm. Yeah. I've got my monthly, and we can go back to the daily. Okay. As well, I'm going to go into this uh, to today. I can see my attendees. I'm able to uh, see that great information from them. I can see the LinkedIn uh, profile there as well. Uh, I can get the Twitter feed coming in there. So some really powerful use cases that we've created in the calendar. So I can take this valuable information. So say I have a meeting later on this afternoon, and I can't quite remember who the meeting is with. I get the 15 minute reminder right before the meeting. I can go in there. It'll pull all that LinkedIn information right there for the calendar. I can see who that person is. I can see the latest news that's coming from their Twitter feed, uh, news on their company. So we pulled that all that information together to create some really powerful use cases uh, in the calendar and the contacts uh, in the email applications. So that's just a quick highlight of some of the new features as well. We've got um, some other cool stuff. We've got into uh, some new games uh, just uh, coming out uh, recently here. On, um, as you can see here, we've got Angry Birds now on the playbook. Very cool game. Very nice crisp playing experience going on there. Tons of applications. Uh, we still have our great uh, multitasking, as you can see on the playbook, that we're known for. So you guys still have all the gesture support? Does that stay in? Yep, okay. gesture uh, support is still there. Something I want to show you next here is I want to show you the, uh, the enhanced BlackBerry uh, bridge experience. Now, is this working with only the new 7.1, or is this going to work if you have an older version of BlackBerry? Uh, no, this is, uh, this is supported uh, with the older versions. Okay. So what I've done here is, uh, I'll let you see my phone here as well. Mm -hmm. So I've gone into the new bridge client that's compatible with the 2.0, and I have now have remote control over, as you can see here, you see the cursor moving on the playbook. That's me controlling it here. Interesting. Well, now, so this in. is if you want to be like presentation mode. I mean, absolutely. Trying to think, there's a touch screen, so you're meant to grab this. Yeah. So now we have a remote for it. It works very well for uh, for a few different uh, use cases. I'll, I'll I'll highlight some of those uh, in a second here. But what I was just going to show you here is now I can also use the keyboard on my BlackBerry. So the excellent keyboard on my BlackBerry. I'm able to type. So as you can see, I'm typing hello. Oh, sorry, I misspelled. Typing hello 
on the phone. It's coming up. So you don't need an accessory keyboard, is what you're basically showing. Uh, in this instance, no. Very cool. To type. Oh, yeah. And the hand gestures are supported as well. So now that I want to exit this application, swipe from the bottom here. Oh, the demo gods. <laughs> So as you mentioned uh, earlier, this remote control is an uh, excellent use case for when you're doing a presentation. Mm -hmm. um, as you may or may not know, we also have an HDMI out uh, for the playbook. So when you're at home, if you're watching a movie, you don't have to be right by the playbook. You can control uh, the movie functionality from your smartphone when you're sitting back on the couch there. Okay. So it uh, creates some really uh, great use cases with that, something that we're very excited about. So how does the I mean, I'm guessing that the existing phones don't have that already on there. So is it just an update? Boom, it works? Yep, it'll be okay. a free update. Free update. Mm -hmm. yep. So is this, there's no new hardware at all with this. This is purely an OS update. This is purely a free OS update. And when is the estimated release? Uh, we're aiming for February. February. Yep. Very cool. Are there any other features? Do you want to show off? Um, no, that was the uh, that was the main overview. The main Some ones? of the main uh, highlights there. Uh, you know, of course, uh, we did. Uh, we now have folders as well as you can see here. I have some of my applications separated into different uh, folders here as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, improving productivity there. Um, actually, do you know what? I will show you as well here, and we'll show you continuing with the uh, BlackBerry Bridge demo here, the enhancements. So we now have a feature that's, uh, that allows you to take what you're viewing on the BlackBerry smartphone and open it up on the playbook. So what I'm able to do here is, you see, if you'll see my, on my phone here, I'm just going to oops, scroll down, and I am going to view on CES. So I have named this playbook CES, mm -hmm. I could have left it playbook, so we're going to open it up on the larger screen. So you don't even need to touch them, that's nice. Right. So just take it right there. Now I know they were saying that the new version of the uh, Bold and 7.1 has um, NFC and all those goodies. Is the black, does the playbook have any NFC goodies? No, the playbook isn't currently enabled with NFC. Okay. So I'm assuming that this whole bridge thing will get a lot more powerful when both of them have NFC on them. Um, yeah, well, uh, you know, NFC is on our roadmap. It's something that we're integrating into our products, uh, so I can't specifically comment on, sure. on what it's going to, the experience is going to be like down the road with the playbook. Well, all right. Well, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.